introducing the Casato Cabby 3-in-1. One will be your chassis itself, one will be your push chair, and one will be your carry cart. And it does come as a complete package. So I've got a carry cart that's suitable from birth up until about six months, push chair that's available from about six months up to 15 kilos, which is about a three, four year old, and this push chair will go either way. It also comes with a full rain cover that goes onto your push chair or onto your carry cart. And this hood, by the way, does transpose onto your carry cart. You get a full foot muff that comes with it, and you also get a changing bag as well. I've got it set up as you would have it when you've got your newborn, and it's with the carry cot on. As you can see, it comes complete with the rain cover, and this goes over your carry cot or your push jam mode. And it's really easy to do. You've got Velcro that goes either side, and both sides of here. It's in a couple of positions, so just easing that off. And then it's just elasticated around the top and around the, the bottom here. So just removing that off easily. Going on to your carry cot, you have got fully adjustable hood on here. That's releasing that off. That will allow that to go up or down. And I've also got a peak hole on the top here. Now that won't be so apparent when we've got it in carry cot mode. And also I've got a storage pocket on the back, but when it's in push jam mode and you've probably got it facing away, that's when that becomes more apparent. So going on to the inside, we've got press studs that will actually hold that into position. So if that's really quite a chilly day, that keeps the, all of the wind out. And then on the inside there, that is a fleecy lining. The front apron comes off by just releasing off the safety catches just on the side, and that's just press studs. And again, colour coordinated to match with the liner of your carry cot. The liner itself will come out completely, and that just velcros all the way in. So that, again, if you do need to wash that, is easily done. Your carry cot is going to be from birth, and we say as a guesstimate up until about six months. And bearing in mind your push chair is from six months upwards. And then the other feature that you have got on here, you've got D-rings that are actually attached on to your chassis itself. And that's either side, just situated above where the wheel is. To take off the carry cot, You've got two grey buttons on the side, and they're just smallish buttons, squeezing that in and then lifting off the whole thing. The other thing that we haven't talked about as well is your hood does come off easily like that, and it will now go onto the push chair part, which we're now going to do. So we've now got a six month old child, and we can have them facing towards us or facing away and it works in exactly the same way it's just your two adapters that are on the bottom of your push chair that just click into position and just talking through your push chair now we've got your fully adjustable hood that remember was on the carry cot initially so now we've got it in push chair mode it's more applicable that I've got that peephole so I can see what's going on and I've also got my nice little storage pocket on the back and that's just a magnet that holds that together. Again, nice little feature on there. So releasing off the safety catch to adjust the hood. It does come complete with the full foot muff. And that, as normal, will just attach in with your straps to hold it in position. And there's actually three positions on here. You've got your normal zip that takes the whole top <laughs> section off, should you require to do so. And that's fleecy lining on the inside. And that's all fully washable. Going on to the push chair itself. To adjust the position, it's the big grey buttons that are on the side that will allow that to go lower or higher. Going on to the inside, I've got a full five-point harness and I've also got padded shoulder straps as well. Going on to your footrest, on the inside here, I've got a very hard wearing, wipeable material on the bottom where the footrest is going to be. So again, an extra feature, you know, when we've got muddy shoes, it does protect your, your unit itself. You've got swivel wheels on here, and that's just releasing off that front wheel by just the clip that's on the front. 
Swivel wheels for when you're going around shops and you want that bit more manoeuvrability, but if you are going over that heavier ground like grass, gravel, cobbles or sand, just lock off those wheels. It gives you much, much better suspension. And then talking about your wheels, we have got fully removable wheels on the rear. And if you notice, they are quite a lot bigger as well. It's just releasing off the catch underneath and then just popping that back on. So again, when we do come to fold it down, if you do want to make it slightly smaller, that does allow you to do that. I've got a large storage basket on the back here, and it's very easily accessible as well. Braking system is just one centre piece in the middle. We'll allow that to go on or off. And again, just turning it round, the adjustment for taking on and off is just the bottom grey button as opposed to the big one that adjusts your recline. So squeezing that together and just taking the whole thing off reveals the chassis. So going on to the chassis, just turn that slightly sideways so you can see what we're doing. You've got one, two buttons and they're in grey but they are marked up with red one and two and they literally pull out and just sort of rest on to the little catch that's above it so just doing that there and then your final action is so we've gone one two and three will be to squeeze in the grey button that's on your handle now what happens it releases your frame about there and because it's going forwards just put a little bit of pressure on there when it's very very new I've got a safety catch on the side here and that just attaches on and that now allows you to just pick that up and maneuver that around and pop it into your car. It's very, very lightweight. And again, when we said about taking off those wheels, that again would make it a smaller package. And then just to put back up, it's just releasing off that safety catch and then literally just picking up the whole thing, flicking that out and that's it put back up. Your changing bag has a fully adjustable strap on the handle. I've got a storage pocket in the front and a zip on the top. And then going on the inside, it does come complete with its own wet bag. So if you have got anything wet, you can pop that on the inside there. I've also got another zip on the inside, and that will give you extra storage. On the inside, on one side of your bag, I've got a big stretchy part here so again to secure in something like a bottle and then it does come with its color coordinated changing mat and that is plastic on the underneath but that's terry toweling on the top so again nice feature for when we're going out